full race cards and selections for every weekend and every day of major horse racing festivals, are available on our website. The Sussex National features on Plumpton's card on Sunday, while over in Ireland, the Lawless of Nace is the Grade 1 highlight. Quilixios won the Triumph Hurdle at the Cheltenham Festival back in 2021, and made a winning start over fences at Limerick, before finding three miles on soft, and ask too far in the Florida Pearl. This looks a more realistic target, so Henry de Bromhead's Maxios gelding can cause a surprise over the well-fancied Mr. Policeman. Over at Plumpton, Oxygen can score for Venetia Williams, chiefly at the expense of Gary Moore's authorized speed. He lines up here on a hat-trick after wins at Lingfield Park and here, and getting a whopping £18 from authorized speed could be telling on this ground. Sid Hosey's Rock My Way also enters calculations in a trappy race where just the five go to post. Later on, it's an interesting change of tack for Joe Tizard's Eldorado Allen, who has been fencing exclusively for the last four seasons. Returning to hurdles on a much lower mark could pay dividends, and after a decent shift in the Coral Gold Cup at Newbury Park showed he's in great nick, every chance on Plumpton's sharp course. Elsewhere, Brandy Love should be winning the opener at Nace, though you won't get much bang for your buck, while Through the Ages and Classic Anthem should score at Plumpton. Our Sunday best lines up in the Nace feature. A fascinating rematch between Firefox and Eel Atlantique, who were 1-2 in a bumper at Punches Down back in April. Both now have winning form over Timber, with Firefox beating Ballyburn at Fairy House, form that has since been franked, while Eel Atlantique scored in heavy ground at Gowran Park in impressive fashion. Given the conditions, Eel Atlantique makes more appeal at the expense of Firefox in an interesting clash. Sticking to the main events, our next best goes to post in Plumpton's highlight, the Sussex National. The feature can go to Joe Tizard's Rose of Arcadia, who ran well enough in a listed mare's chase at Newbury Park last month to suggest she'll see out this marathon trip. She was only beaten ahead by the smart Galia De Lito in that race, won by Venetia Williams's Pink Legend, so the form stacks up well enough. There'll be plenty throwing in the towel before this race is over, but Rose of Arcadia is one that's expected to be right there at the business end, having finished every career start. Solid each way claims at the least.